Alright, welcome back to Axis and Allies The Garrison. This is Detroit coming to you from the bunker here in Rochelle Park, New Jersey. This is episode 1.5, the UK's turn. Alright, so it is uh, Sire Blood's turn to make his moves. I know that Sire has been very sick uh, these last couple of days with a very bad cold, but he still managed to come through for us and create uh, or make his moves with his uh, uh, country, uh, the UK. All right, just one thing before we go ahead. Uh, as a side note, uh, we will not be recapping China's turn. Uh, uh, Sired is controlling China, but because of some technical issues that we're having, as soon as I get uh, this issue resolved, I'll be recapping China as well uh, for uh, uh, Sired Blood. Guys, uh, definitely interesting. Uh, feel, uh, uh, Sired Blood has... Um, a few decisions to make as to what he is going to do. Is he, is he going to focus more on the UK Pacific or on the UK uh, Europe side of uh, the theater of war? Reason being, as we all know, the UK definitely, definitely took a, a beating uh, from Germany early on in this round. So it's going to be interesting as far as I'm concerned as to how Sire is going to respond to the uh, initial attacks that were performed on on the UK, particularly uh, on the European side of the war. Okay, I just want to see how he's going to respond and what his moves are going to be. Guys, enjoy this episode, and as always, let me know if you think the strategies that we're using are correct, or if you guys have something else or, or to, some other contribution or idea that you guys would like to uh, chip in as far as strategies are concerned. Enjoy the episode. All right, so let's go ahead with the UK's turn. Uh, the UK, for its purchases, uh, ended up acquiring three uh, Spitfires, three uh, fighter squadrons, uh, one destroyer, and one submarine. Okay, so the UK will carry one IPC uh, for round two. Okay, that will be one IPC in addition to whatever it collects at the end of this round. All right, the UK will not be making any combat uh, moves in the UK, actually the UK Pacific, I should say. Uh, no attacks in this region. Uh, so let's go ahead then with uh, the, Europe the European side where uh, Sire did make three combat movements and they are as follows. Okay, uh, C-Zone 96, C-Zone 109, all right, and C, right here, sorry about that, and C-Zone 111. Okay, so let's go ahead with the actual movements. All right, so in the Mediterranean, you'll have one tactical bomber coming from the British carrier in CZO 98 at a movement of one. That carrier will have three move. I mean, that uh, tactical bomber will have three uh, movements left. Okay, so let's go right there. Uh, the fighter in Malta will also engage, and it'll attack uh, that... Uh, Italian uh, fleet in Z season 96 as well. So that's one tactical and one fighter uh, squadrons attacking the Italian uh, fleet in season 96. Both of those aircraft will have three movements left in their gas cages. All right, so the British cruiser in season 16 will sail away at a movement of two, one, and two will attack the German sub in C-Zone 1 line, okay? Also, from C-Zone 110, you have the British battleship and cruiser attacking uh, as well. So that's two cruisers and one British battleship attacking the German U-boat uh, in C-Zone 109. All right, the third and final attack of the day, of the round, uh, actually, this turn, I should say, is that uh, being performed by the bomber. Okay, and that guy somehow fell. Okay, he'll move at a count of two. One and two, and it will attack the German battleship, the Bismarck, in C-Zone 111. All right, so that's uh, one, one unit attacking another unit. And, of course, let's not forget that the German uh, pocket battleship, the Bismarck, is damaged. All right, uh, the British uh, bomber uh, will have two movements, actually, uh, it'll have four movements left in its gas tank, all right, because it already used two. 
movements. All right, and that's it for the combat movements uh, during this uh, British or UK turn. All right, we'll be, we'll be back with the resolved combat. All right, so the battle in season 96, uh, the Italian fleet in season 96 was uh, knocked out. It was sunk to the bottom of the sea. The British did not sustain any casualties. Uh, the battle in uh, Sea Zone 1 line, the German U-boat was sunk and destroyed. The British uh, battleship, though, did uh, inquire or did acquire some damage. All right, so the British have a damaged battleship, okay, in Sea Zone 1 line. Okay, as for the last battle of the day, you have the one in... Uh, Season 111, okay, in this uh, battle, both the, the attacking bomber and defending German battleship, the Bismarck, both neutralized each other. So both units were destroyed in this particular battle. So let's remove them from the game board. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do the non-combat movements uh, for the uh, both the UK Pacific and UK Europe. But let's start first here. In the Pacific, right, so the right, so. British cruiser in season 39 will sail away at a movement of three, one, two. We'll pick up one British uh, infantry division and move on to uh, season 37, I believe, uh, and land one British infantry division in French Indochina. Uh, let's keep in mind that the British and the Japanese Empire are not yet at war, thus allowing the British to make a an amphibious landing. A friendly one though where they're, where they're annexing actually no they cannot annex French Indochina it's just a a troop movement into French Indochina all right so in essence uh, it, it's, a, it's a legal move where that transport can move into sea zone 37 all right the British battleship in sea zone 37 will make steam all right and will sail at a movement movement of one and two and end up at sea zone 39 all right so then, of course, uh, let's go ahead then with the British cruiser and destroyer, same season, 39, and then a movement of three, one, two, and three will uh, go to season 76. All right, let's go up to the Mediterranean. Here you have a British carrier, a destroyer, and a cruiser. Also will make steam and head uh, through the Suez Canal at a movement of two, and then we'll link up with the British fleet already in Sea Zone 76, all right? So that's that, all right? Okay, let's go back to the Mediterranean, uh, where we have a British naval transport at 98, okay? It will go at a movement of one, pick up the British infantry, okay? And we'll head back to Sea Zone 99, and we'll land in Greece, okay? So now, uh, basically, this uh, the four uh, Greek infantry are now part of the, or have been recruited by the British as part of their allied forces, all right? So that's a total of uh, five infantry that uh, can be considered as British forces. All right, the two aircraft uh, that still have the British Spitfire and the British Tactical Bomber that are in season... 96 will fly over and land at a movement of two and land in Alexandria, Egypt. Uh, correction, Cairo, Egypt. All right, so let's remove these. Okay, the British Army in Alexandria will fall back into Egypt, into Cairo. There you go. Let's remove these memory aids, and we're good there. All right, what other, uh, am I forgetting any other non-combat movements? Yes, I am. Uh, the two British infantry in South Africa will move up north at a movement of three. One, two, and three, and will end up in Kenya. Keep in mind that we are playing the BBR, bloodbath uh, rules, which allows uh, the use of railways. Okay, in this instance, Union of South Africa has a value of two, which means then that uh, South Africa can railroad up to two, two ground units at any given time for three movements, three spaces, right? And that's exactly what happened here. So the two British infantry in South Africa are now in Kenya, 
Okay, what else? What am I forgetting? Oh, um, the British uh, Air Wing in Calcutta at a movement of one, two, three, and four will land both the Spitfire and the tactical bomber on the British carrier. All right, sorry, I'm making a mess here. Fingers can be a little bit clumsy sometimes. All right, so that's about it for uh, the non-combat movements uh, for uh, the British. Uh, let's go ahead with uh, the placements of uh, the newly purchased uh, units that the uh, British made uh, under the command of Sire Blood. So, the three Spitfires... Oh, I'm forgetting something. Before I do that, I'm forgetting that the British do have a... Air Squadron in Gibraltar. This uh, fighter squadron at a movement of four will move at a four. One, two, three, and four, and it'll land in Scotland. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead with the placement of units. Uh, the three Spitfires will be placed in England. All right, and both the destroyer and submarine will be placed in, at Sea Zone 109 where they can link up with the rest of the British fleet in Sea Zone 109. Oh, and I was forgetting another additional non-combat movement, good thing I caught it on now, and that is the, the UK uh, art, uh, Artillery Division and Infantry Division will move east and link up with the rest of the British Army in Quebec, Canada. All right, so it is the end of UK's turn. All right, so things are definitely starting to heat up on the eastern seaboard and the Atlantic side, the European theater side of the war. Uh, I see that uh, UK, the UK has uh, built up its uh, naval assets in season 109, purchased three uh, fighters, and is starting to uh, build up uh, its defenses as, uh, as far as the uh, ships are concerned. Uh, question is, how will Germany respond to this uh, defensive move, uh, move that uh, the British made? All right, so now it is, uh, the, the ball now is on uh, the side of the axes with Italy's turn. And as we all know, Italy is under the command of uh, Hilltop Pillbox. Okay, he will be going ahead now with... Uh, episode I believe uh, 1.6 uh, where he will be managing the Italians and let's see what he does all right guys uh, as always uh, I look forward to your commentaries uh, don't forget to uh, bunker down and if you haven't yet subscribed uh, to this channel please uh, go ahead and do so also if you don't mind I would appreciate very much if you hit that like button all right guys till next time